The Apple HomePod smart speaker is all set to see the light of day when it goes on sale in the US, the UK, and Australia starting February 9. While there is some time till the smart speaker is widely available, a report claiming to have an early access to the HomePod, has revealed more details. The most interesting new feature in the HomePod is that it allegedly has awareness of whether its owner is at home, thanks to Siri. Redmi Note 5 has now received 3C certification in China, as per a report. The certification has been given to two models of the upcoming Redmi Note series smartphone that are listed as the Xiaomi Mi 7S and Mat 7S. Some previous reports suggested that Xiaomi is set to launch the Redmi Note 5 in the second quarter of this year, while there were also some speculations in the past that company could launch the Redmi 5 Plus instead of the Redmi Note 5 as the successor to the Redmi Note 4. Nevertheless, the latest discovery points to a sooner launch of the all-new Redmi Note model. Fitbit on Wednesday said that it is extending support for Pebble smartwatches until June 2018. It also means that that support for Pebble will come to its end by then. Fitbit, the tech wearables giant had announced the acquisition of Pebble in December 2016. Back then, Pebble developer John Barlow had said that it will keep Pebble software and services running through 2017. Now, in a blog post, Fitbit has announced the extension. After much anticipation and some recent teasers, Vivo X20 Plus Ud has ultimately been launched in China. Vivo on Wednesday made the new announcement after demonstrating the model at CES 2018 earlier this month that debuted as its first smartphone with an under-display fingerprint sensor. The smartphone features an AMOLED panel that hides the synaptics made under-display fingerprint sensor, called Clear ID 9500. It will go on sale in the Chinese market starting February 1st with a price tag of 3,598 Chinese yuans, approximately rupees 36,100. The model will be available in only black color option with a golden frame. Japan Display has announced the development of its very first transparent glass-based capacitive fingerprint sensor that uses an in-house capacitive multi-touch technology, which was originally exclusive to LCD panels. The new sensor is expected to reach commercial shipments in the fiscal year 2018. It could eventually be transformed as an upgrade of traditional, silicon-based fingerprint sensors that are based on silicon and is likely to available as an alternative to the recently arrived under-display fingerprint sensors that are currently in the production process by companies such as Qualcomm and Synaptics. Samsung Galaxy S9 will be launched at the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked 2018 event at 12 p.m. ET, 10.30 p.m. IST, on February 25th, ahead of Mobile World Congress, MWC, 2018 next month. The South Korean giant on Wednesday released the invitation for the event where the Galaxy S9 Plus is also expected to make its appearance. The invite teases the appearance of upgraded camera technology on the Galaxy S9. As you can see, the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S9 is apparent from the 9 mentioned on the invite. If a picture is worth a thousand words, the latest member of the Galaxy family has a lot to say. On February 25th, Samsung Electronics will showcase the next generation of Galaxy devices that reimagines the camera and redefines the way you share your moments, writes the company, alongside the invite. Apple on Wednesday announced availability iOS 11.3 developer preview, with consumer availability of the update arriving this spring. Apart from four new Animoji, something Apple is choosing to conspicuously highlight, the update includes battery health monitoring and power management features. While Apple first promised a battery health feature after admitting it slowed down iPhones with older batteries, CEO Tim Cook earlier this month revealed a power management feature that would allow users to switch off performance throttling. Specifically, the battery health feature in iOS 11.3 show users the health of their iPhone battery, and also recommend if a battery needs to be serviced. It will be found within settings thin battery, and the company says the feature will be available for iPhone 6 and later models. Wine, a popular software that enables users to run Windows apps on Linux and other Unix-like operating systems, has released a version that will let users do the same on Android smartphones. Codevers, which makes the Wine app, has announced the stable release of Wine 3.0 for Android. This feature has been under development for a long time now. In 2016, Code Weavers had released the tech preview of Crossover Android to the select users. Later in January 2017, Wine 2.0 was released with improved Mac compatibility and Microsoft Office support. Launched in 1993, 
Wine is a free and open source computability layer that allows computer programs developed for Microsoft Windows to run on Unix like operating systems. With a software library called WineLib, developers compile Windows applications to help port them to other systems. Wine also maintains a database of compatible programs. Like, share, and subscribe this channel for updated tech news.